Okay, so this is the um, HD setup, HD uh, transfer from uh, Super 8 to uh, DVD, uh, HD type quality. So I use a uh, projector in here with the LED light. The lens is modified so all the lenses are taken out and just the tube left in a projector. And what I use basically, it's a pretty simple setup. It's a 100 millimeter uh, macro lens. This is a Canon FD type. And I use an adapter in here for the Olympus Pen camera. So it's an adapter from the um, um, Canon FD to uh, Olympus, um, um, Olympus camera. And um, in order to magnify the stuff uh, by 4x, because the macro is one-to-one -one, uh, magnification, I use four extension tubes in here. Actually, it's one. Uh, actually, it's five. One, two, three, four, five extension tubes. So let's try the setup. Uh, uh, in here, I got a little adapter so that uh, there is no light coming uh, into the lens at all so it's fully sealed in there um, so the setup is in here we turn the light on and uh, turn the camera on and uh, the image is projected onto the television in here Okay, so the camera is connected to the television input and uh, I uh, turn the camera on and there's the image and then we have to adjust the focus on it. And make sure it's centered. And uh, now we can do the capture. So hit the record. And uh, then set up a uh, slow rate. So I got the adjustable motor. And then once this is done, we will post-process the video. Okay, now we're gonna post-process the video. The video that we captured this right here. Okay. Open up uh, Blaze Media Pro. And then decompile video. So this will create a folder and break down the video into TIFF images. Now we're going to process the TIFF images. If we look in the directory, this is the video that was taken, broken down into individual uh, TIFF images. And this is the, the previous scene. So I grabbed a bit of the previous scene 
and followed by the clip that we want to process. So what I'm going to do is remove the previous scene. Okay, and now look at the um, the uh, images, and uh, we can see that each frame basically has several images because it's a slow frame rate followed by the transition uh, between the uh, scenes or between the frames so one thing that we have to do is uh, figure out what the how many pictures we have per frame so it's one two three four five six seven so it's around seven images for each frame and we're gonna now uh, run a filter that will take one image per frame and strip out the rest of it next step is to run the diff filter so that's a program that I wrote and uh, but before we run it we have to set the um, uh, config file for it and the config file is within this batch file in here so we're gonna edit that and uh, so this is the program in here and then there are a couple of things that this thing does prior to running the program so um, uh, one of the parameters to the program is a threshold and the program needs that I'm not gonna cover that now and then the second one is the number of images per frame so we're gonna set it to 7 and we're gonna save it and uh, now we can run the uh, filter so I'm moving into the uh, directory where the images are and then I run the batch file in here and now what the program does it prepares so it checks all of the images in there and now actually it's um, uh, filtering the images so anytime it finds a transition it saves a file and that's gonna be saved into the output directory Okay, now uh, the diff filter is completed, and uh, let's see now, it uh, created <coughs> an output directory, and this should contain the filtered images, so in this directory it, we should have one picture per frame um, okay now that the image is open I uh, use the uh, right arrow key and uh, scan through the images just to make sure the filter diff filter sometimes fails and potentially we'll have a transition a kind of blurry transition inside the uh, between the images and uh, that has to be removed so you can just use the uh, arrow keys so right arrow keys to scan through the images and then use the delete key to delete any frame that is uh, bad or if it has uh, dust on it or uh, like hairs um, okay so once that's done we will compose the uh, video okay. 
This is the uh, video composition uh, phase. All of the video images are in this directory in here. And we're going to open up the video editor. Okay, and then click on the edit button. So this is going to open up the edit window and uh, this is where we're gonna paste the images so I'm gonna do control A to select all of the images and I'll just drop them into the uh, edit window this takes a few seconds Okay, so here's the uh, edit track and has all the images um, imported. And what we have to do is now change the length of the image. So to do that, I hit Control A to select all the images. And then I say change for the length and set this to 2 and say apply to all. And then in here, this shows the progress. So now all of the images will be set to the proper duration. Okay, now that we have all of the pictures changed, um, change the length uh, to the proper uh, duration. Uh, we can um, save the save the movie, and we do that by doing the export. Export video as AVI, and then notice the resolution. It's set to HD resolution, and we have uh, NTSC uh, frame rate, and the aspect is 60 by 9 and I'm gonna keep the default uh, file name we're gonna change that later say OK and continue and this will save the AVI file okay now we're gonna invert the movie so it's gonna be a vertical flip so what we do um, I'll close this and restart it again uh, hit edit and then I'll import my inverted video Here it is. Click on it to select it. Go under effects and flip it. And that's it. Save it again. So I'm gonna save it as the next clip. So the last one was 123, so we're gonna save this as 124. Uh, export, AVI, and uh, in here I'll change this to 124. Four. Say OK. Continue, and it'll be it'll be done in a couple of minutes.